All right, guys, we are back. We're sitting at a 70% win rate. Pretty good to start the season, I guess. About standard, I think. Uh, what have we got on this board? We have the first pick. Hope you're all doing amazing. Hope everyone here is living their best life. We're going to have a few 1v1 videos and then we'll get into the four player videos a little bit later down the track. I want to take the ore here, but this just feels like there's no wood, but there's also like no wheat. Like I'm trying to look for sheep, wheat, ore spots. There's just not a lot. You almost just want to take 4, 10, 5. Thing is 8, 3, 4, 8, 5, 10 happens. Mmm. 3, 4, 9. You know what? I think 8, 10, 5 is actually the best. Just because it leads into the extra wheat here. And I think you get, at worst, 3, 4, 9 or 8, 3. And I actually don't mind the 8, 3 here. This is not an easy one at all. It's literally just because of the wheat. Yeah, like this is such an important spot here. And I'm really not opposed to the 8-3 the combo just because these 8s are so big. He obviously has the, the better road building here as well as starting with two roads, but he doesn't have sheep right now. And I think we can get into 4-5-11, which is a massive spot. The only issue with that is, is do I miss out on 8-3-4? We can run the 8s here, 100%. I also don't hate that. Thing is, if he rolls 1, 10, or 11, he plows me here. We start on a 3 to 1. Otherwise, it's this into the 3 to 1, which I don't mind. We get we start with extra sheep. I think we have to take the 4 to begin this game. And we have to build into 8, 3, 4 first. Yeah, so that, that would have been the plow there. 3 is nice. So we have a clear advantage here that we have every resource. Uh, does it take me much? I mean, I need an eight and a four. I think we should go for it no matter what. He still needs support for a whole sheep. There's the eight. He pours all his wood for a sheep. One, two. That was every single wood he has. So he has zero roads right now and he needs a four. So he'd need two eights to roll to settle three, four. That's unlikely until a four rolls, right? Nine. Yeah, I mean, I can take here. I don't hate the take. You'd 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 rather a four. I also like a pop. So let's pop. Road builder could be big. Eleven. Seven happens, and I assume he's gonna go into the sheep, right? So we got time to take four, five, eleven as well. There's the four. All right, nice. So we have our eight, three, four, which I'm really happy about. Four sheep. It's not ideal because he doesn't have sheep, but I mean, what else can we do, right? Six. Oh, gee, he's going to seven out here. I should, the, the Giga Chad play right now is I four on all my sheep for a wait and I pop. That is the absolute Giga Chad play right now. Should I do it? No. Oh my gosh. You could, we couldn't have scripted it better there. Yeah, the shape's massive for him here. Uh, he did port for it, so it's not so big. Oh, wow, he misses the shape, gets the ore. That's very interesting. I kind of actually need that ore, so I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, we, we would have had three ore stacked up here. Eight is good. I suppose I, I kind of want to port for an ore rather than a wheat here, but I know he's holding a bit of ore and he needs to settle. So let's go for the wheat play. Oh no. And there he steals my sheep. Okay, and we're rolling sevens right back out. Maybe I should block five there. Eight. Doesn't take much for us to get a city here. Another eight. All right, he settles. We're chilling. He does. He is holding a lot of ore. I mean, the wheat port is interesting. I'm going to port for the ore. I feel like we're rolling into wheat soon. There we go. Had a little feeling, a little sneaky suspicion as he pops. Now we get this bad boy up. I kind of want to get this up, not going to lie. But we need this extra ore, right? He's going to play knights. That's fine. We're actually sevens down here. So we're going to do this. I think what we want to do is actually just hit the nine. 
yeah, we want this three open. Okay, that's fine. It's still going to take him a while to city, I think. That is very bad, but he misses on the wheat. Oh my god, this guy's had some bad misses. We, we, we will pop. Ten. That was a city for him. Definitely, right? He was holding so much ore. All right, he settles there on the 611. Tempted to hit the 11. I am tempted to hit the 11, but we'll continue with nine. Brick is fine. Yeah. I, this four has rolled once, but then I have to wait for a push me over. Eight, 10, five, three. I've barely rolled a seven. Yeah, we should just pop. There's a four. And a nine. Four rolls nice. We build into there. We probably should get a knight here. I don't want to yop for it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take city. I I'm so many sevens down here. Let's just build. Get into this extra ore here. We really shouldn't be 70 out. And he's holding a ton of ore. I think we can... Yeah, okay. This is This is fine. Tempted to hit the 11. 10 is also interesting. All right, we'll go for the 10. Nice. Don't you dare roll that 11. Eight. So really four is our big money. We'll go back to nine. So now we're sevens, like now it's about even. We use those two sevens up. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I should put for a wood, but like, eh. Kind of want to do this and just get a knight here. Five. Starting to get a little bit worried about this little back plow. Um, will we just port for a wheat here? Maybe I can port for a wood. Nine. So he's holding some wood. One. Two. Three, maybe? He hasn't done anything since. So he's got a bit of wood. Okay, he's going to cut back to A3. That makes me feel a bit better. The five hits. I do have both cities up. I think the pop's fine. Every roll, like, that's going to give us settle. Three is going to give us a city. So, yeah, just take more knights here. And we're just waiting on the four, man. It's always the four or the ten that lets me down. There we go. We capitalize there. Ideally, I want to come in for six, five, twelve, but... Maybe we should just grab a port now. I don't mind this. Just doubling that four. Yeah, I don't hate this move. This is also interesting. Five, two. Should we just go for the five, two here? We're already getting three or every five. Let's go for this four. There's a big 11 for him. So this point three is a pretty big roll for us. Fives are nice. Risk it for the biscuit. Roll a three. Nine. I suppose. There's no harm in it. Seven. That's the only harm in it. And then losing a wheat. So where are we blocking? I think well, let's just starve him for sheep. He's only got one sheep spot. Let's lose, use that to our advantage here. Yeah, and I'm just going all in. Grabbing, grabbing another city, putting the pressure on him. A3-4 happens. Yeah, and the fours suck for him now. They absolutely suck for him. We're getting five cards to his one. And not, not too many rolls he beats me on here, except maybe the six. And yeah, he's having to port for sheep. Now I'll hit the six. And we just run in for this three to one. Wait for eight. Nice six block. There we go. We can build some more roads here. Come in for that. He says GG. Might be a res early resign here. GG, bro. Oh, he did get my wheat, though. And this should be a win. It looks like he's going to play it out. Do that. Five. Doesn't actually do anything for us here. No knight. Road builder into 9, 10, 11. Pops again. Seven. We get wood. There's our saddles. All right, I should just take this low key. So let's just let's just get that in case. 
Actually, would I have been able to pour my ore there? Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'll open this up. Six. That was probably a small misplay for you guys. You could have done that and then three for one Dior. All right, all right. Let's just get this game done. 14 points. What do we need to do? Just quick, finish it on a settle real quick. Get this road. Open 6-2 up. Please don't play a road builder and take road. Please don't do it. Okay, he gets a city and extends. Oh no, he's trying to fight back. He's trying to fight back, guys. No, two sixes. Okay, that should end it all. Unless he monos. Goes for 6-3. Bots for a wood. Oh my gosh. Road builder? Nope, he just wants to build the longest road. Alright. GG. Alright, we're cooking. We're cooking. I'd love to get to 80% win rate. That would be nice to just have that for a little bit. But yeah, good first win. Those are the stats. Let's get straight into the next one. All right, guys, second game. Uh, this game is filmed separately to the, the first game that was played. So I've played a couple more games sitting at about a 70% win rate still. Let's just look at this board real quick. I think the wheat is important, but the fact that there's just this huge brick spot is pretty good for us and I'm I'm kind of okay to play this like this is a spot where I might actually I might take less wheat here sorry less sheep and build into the 810 I think there's some value to it you double the 10 as well as getting so you double the 8 as well as getting a 10 so the 8 becomes a free card you take a little less sheep so you kind of hope that that 3 hits but this is a spot where I kind of like this I like having the best wood on the board this port is very valid 10 5 is also nice Second best wheat. You look at 9, 5, 10. You also look at something like 11, 4, 9 into the 6, 4, 2 if that's available. But yeah, uh, shout out to, big shout out to Matthew Fagan. Thank you for the donation. Last time I said that I'll be, I'll put, be putting the names of people that donate on the screen and I forgot to put them on the screen. So shout out to Matthew Fagan. His name should pop up here. Appreciate you, big man. 8, 3, 10. Yes, yeah, so this is a weird setup. Like, this plows, this is just good. A three is massive. I feel like you just plow here, but maybe there are better moves. Like the fact that he's just left it there. And like what happens is he's like, he's 6, 11, 12, he's only other three hex spot. Unless he can go ooh, all the way around here. And what I really like about this is the fact that he needs a three to roll. So we're going to get this three before he settles anyway, unless he's able to port everything for a wood, right? So I'm going to take the plow here. We've got, it, we've got all this, you know, we've got the double wheat. We've got this wood port up here, 10, 5, 6, 4, 3 is massive. This whole side of the board's to us. We have one, two, three, four, three hex spots to our side, to his one with a 12 and an 11. So look, you can always still lose games, but I think the percentage margin, if we have the little eval bar here, that we are definitely probably 95%, 99% even, you could say. And there's that 1% where a bunch of 10s roll. He can maybe get a city up quick. He's able to block me, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, like we said, like we took this early three, but it actually hasn't been a 10 roll, which is quite funny. Six. So if I can manage to get myself a three, Three does put me over. So here's where I'll probably look to actually build down towards 643 instead of the wood port. Just because the six is so massive, right? All right, here's a seven out. Okay, doesn't seven out. Five, so three still puts me over. I could actually port here. There's been zero tens. You know what? This is a spot where we just port. The seven out's not that bad. He grabs a wood, which he does need. But I feel like it's so good for us. Yeah, this 10's coming. Let's get some extra brick here. I'm okay with this. He's been over quite a few times now, and I don't even know if he can port. It sucks to port the wheat. Here we go. We, we get a brick from it, and he sevens out. Oh, that is a gross seven out. And I don't, I don't know. I don't see the play from him. Uh, we don't want to lose a wheat here, but we also don't want to lose a wood. Yeah, it's a toss up. I think you just play on here. There's the three. That'll get him settled on what? An 8-4? 
It's really not doing much. We'll wait here. He sevens. Hopefully we don't lose a wheat because he probably is blocking something like the five. The wood's actually fine. And all we need is a five, eight, five, three. And then we get this extra ore and that's when we start cooking because after that, the cities come and then probably the wood port, right? Yeah, I'll hold here. 11 is nice. Fives are cooking. Just wait for the eight here. Yeah, no, I want to get the settle before I can start popping anything. Here we can actually pop. It doesn't really matter. We'll pop first. He's holding one ore, if I'm correct. It's crazy that we both both received something from the seven. We'll wait. This is fine. We'll just wait for our seven here. Nine isn't, it's not a necessity for us. So get this eight, get a sheep. Uh, we could actually, no, we're chilling here. We'll just wait. Five, nine. Yeah, let's just go again. Don't want to seven out. And now where the, now the wood port happens, we've got three wood tiles. And this is where it starts to get really ugly for him. And like I said, we still have one, two, three, two more three hex spots and a two hex spot that's got with eight, ten and a great port. So the only thing we do need is the sheep, but we're about to get that ten. You can extend to the nine, ten. This is he's holding two all right now. So the only thing is that he's holding one or a bunch of brick. Yeah, you know what? This is a hand where I actually just like playing an aggressive knight. Block the six, get the city. Get the 643 up. Those three rolls are massive. Yeah, <laughs> nice block. It was worth because we get a brick, then we can 4 4 on the brick for the ore. We get the ore, then we can just straight up city, right? So, and now we've blocked two sixes. Pretty big. Four happens. He most likely ports for. Okay. He gets that. That's nice for him. I suppose I could have ported the ore. That's fine. Eight rolls. Maybe we just go for the 910. I don't mind it. Just extra sheep. And we're really just waiting for the three roll at this point. He gets his city. Seven. We block this eight. He rolls seven. Hopefully doesn't we don't lose the wheat here. And we just keep eight block the whole game. The wood port will give us the sheep that we need. Nice. We get a wheat. Yeah, this is fine. Keep clearing the hand here. We really just need a three to roll, right? So, hmm. I'm wondering if we ever just do this. Yeah, I think the wheat's really important. Four, five. So we literally just wait for the three or we just port. Yeah, okay, we won't be greedy. We'll just port the wood here. Nice. Eights are huge. Threes are juiced. Nine's about to be amazing. Fives are beautiful. Yeah, there's just no, there's no way I see him winning this game at all. La da dee, la da dee. We'll take army here. Nice. He's actually going to swing all the way around to take road. That's funny. Sure, we can block 10 here. I really don't know what his plan was. Maybe he didn't think I was going to... Uh, I don't know. Maybe he wanted me to plow and he thought it was too slow. There's that three. Nine, ten happens. See if we can get a VP. Oh, the knight's fine. Come in for nine, four, two next. One, eight gets us there. Take army, v oils are seven. Surely we don't seven out, right? He settles. Six, see if we can get a VP. No VPs. Play this. Hit the eight. Get a sheep. We'll pop again. Why not? There's the VP. Okay, now we just need a city settle. We won't pop anymore. Wait for the eights to come in. Five. Four is fine. Is he going to take road from us? Okay, he resigns. All right, big. We'll play one more game and then I'll check the leaderboards for you guys and we'll look at the the win rate and the elo. I'm not sure what his game plan there was. What do you take if you're him and you're the first position? I think that the A43643 plays there. Because you, you expect 9510, right? So that, that way you can go into left, into 5.11.4, grab the extra wheat, which is critical. You start with the free road, of course, and then you can get to the 6.11.4 as well. And by then you have double wheat, you know, this one ore spot, double sheep. 
You can also build into double ore. A decent wood brick, like every four is a road. Yeah, I like the 6-4-3, 8-4-3 play. It works. Threes didn't actually really roll, to be honest, but the fours certainly would have given you something. Let's get into the next one. All right, we are in the third and final game. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. We're sitting 750 subscribers away from 10K, guys. 750, we're so close. Hit that subscribe button. This is weird. There's zero brick on this board. The wheat's not too amazing either. A tough one, actually. There's no particular great places to go here. Uh-oh. Like A310 something, but you don't particularly love it. You almost want to just go A5. I think I just have to play the A510 here. I don't particularly love it. But maybe we could get 943. Potentially. We'll point left. We'll point right here. Maybe it just it more incentivizes him more not to take a 693. Yeah, I suppose 693, 695 works. He's probably going to do that, isn't he? He might take 692, though. No. Yeah, it's a bit awkward for us. I'm not going to lie. He certainly has strong all wheat shape. And we don't. I really have, you know, there's just no brick on the board to play. Like, I take this, it's just weak. Maybe 695 is just better. This could be a slight miscalculation from us. I can play this into this. It's kind of spicy. What's the most normal thing here? He has weakness on the shape. He cities way too fast, though. I don't like the prospects here at all. Uh, I don't know what I just did there. That was bad. Maybe fours can roll like crazy. We can get into the wood port perhaps. Let's see where this goes. The idea is we're going to just pop and see if we can pull something good. Maybe we don't pop actually. Oh, baby, the four. Okay. Really wouldn't like to seven out here, but we can afford it. Knight. Six. Nine. Oh, that's big. That is big. The idea, we, we get the brick, the extra wheat, 854, and then maybe the wood port. Definitely potential, right? That seven's actually pretty good. We keep six blocked. I think it's the way, even though the nines hurt. Okay, you roll seven directly after. All right, we need this. We need the city as well. There we go. Three is a big one. Okay, we have the knight. Nine is good. Gets in the next city, but that's okay. One four or a seven. There's a seven. Seal the wood. Don't get the shape here. Damn. Yeah, that gives him the pop. That's the issue. Hit the five. Damn. That's quite unfortunate there. We have to pop. Yeah. Dude, that's so unlucky. We roll the seven when we least need it. Now our four gets blocked. We have a VP. This was actually looking kind of good at the start. Yeah, and now two sixes roll after I was blocking it. Oh dear. Five here. Five probably ends me. That two. Do I just hit the five there? I don't even know. Yep. Okay, that's good. That's not good. Okay. Four is amazing. I need to block this five. Nine. Got to go for it. Five, yeah. Two pops. Ah, we tried. There's one dev. The VP really hurt us because he got a, just an array of cards after that VP. And of course, sixes just came in after that. Yeah, that's probably it. We'll play on. I've won worse. Okay, that's not good. We kind of, we needed to be the ones pulling those. Who knows? He might be holding a VP. 
10. It hurts me to... I gotta just do this. I gotta play for the 7s here. That's big. Hopefully it doesn't mono us. Okay. Maybe the 9. Yeah, we gotta go for it, right? Does he block the 4 though? Like, can I roll an 8 here? Okay, we'll go for it. Nice. Takes army. Five. Pops twice. Okay, this is it. We need we need an eight here. Big block still. Should I go for it? Feels wrong. Alright, he needs to have one non-knight. Right? No. No. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh? Can we can he have one non-knight? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. That was bound to happen, wasn't it? I mean the VPs aren't bad, but we just can't do anything else. And you worry that he's hold, holding road builder for 8510 as well. Gotta keep dipping in here, unfortunately. Okay. Look, I didn't hate. I, we actually could have won this, but we've had some really unlucky dice here. And here comes the road builder. Yep. That was kind of a given, wasn't it? All right, one more six and we resign. Five, that's probably resign worthy as well. We'll cop this one. Let's just get into it. Let's get into another game because that was only like four minutes. Look, there were chances for us. He does have a VP, but it's too ridiculous at that point. Too hard to beat. We don't have road. He's got double ports. Yeah, pretty much unwinnable. All right, we'll go one more and then we'll end it there. Okay, we're in. Doesn't look too bad. There is 8-5-10, but 6-5-9 lurks. 8-5-4. I think this is the wrong pick. You want to take the 6-5-9 here for the brick. But I suppose there are kind of this always sheep players around. Maybe not so great though. Perhaps 8-5-10, 8-4-3. Maybe that works. But he could just play 8-5-10. All right, I think that's, this is a mistake. Just because the, the brick outs on the way back aren't that good. I do only have one wait for a little bit. Uh, here's the question. Do I even bother with this or do I just take this and play this? If he plays this, it's going to be annoying if 10s just roll the whole time. That could certainly be a thing. I'll start with the wheat ore rather than the wood here. All right. I like it. Well, he could take... Uh, I want to I want to get into something like here. He might just play this. Otherwise, it's 6-3-11. 8-4-3 probably gives him the best chance. Maybe I just don't give him any of it. Because these 8s can get a bit ugly if a, if a few 10s roll early, right? And I've got a big weakness on this 5. I just think we're at such a low rank right now that it kind of doesn't matter in a sense. Like if he doesn't pick this, then I my percentage of winning just goes up a ton here. He's going to go for the plow. Now, he probably gets it, to be honest, but there's a chance I can win. He does need this 11. I need two 10s. There's one. Uh, I suppose he could road. Four. Alright, so we need a 10 versus an, literally an 11. Nine, no double rolls except five. There it is. Yeah! Uh, if I city, I'm pretty much saying uh, you can win this race. Alright, let's run it. Five is the subtle. He needs an 11. I suppose so. Oh. All right, we went for it. And the 10 rolls directly after. That's kind of bad. Because I kind of needed that. Nine. All right. Yeah, not so certain now, actually. We might, we might choke this. The issue here is like our space kind of... Just got screwed over and he has a lot of wheat. 
Okay. Oh, dear. Was I too greedy? We really need to keep this eight blocked. Seven. It's not bad. Just don't roll a seven here for me. Nine is good. Take that. Really? Not the ore. Should get this wheat back. Nice. I like holding. Six is good. Yep. So I do worry a little bit here. He's going to keep blocking five. I probably need nine four to be honest. So yeah. Popping. Hmm. I probably need to just protect the five, right? That's also good. That's really good because we might need wheat here. Okay. He's going for the three to one. That I don't particularly like, but yeah, okay. So he currently only has maybe one or two wheats. That's a big block. I need to get this next city. All right, he gets a, he gets a pop. Uh, I can get a, yeah, I can get a city here. Oh, faced with the opportunity of the city. We have the mono, let's just get knights, right? Okay, never mind. Wow, nothing for him. That's a big roll right there. We want to do this. Nice. Big. He now has a three to one. This road build is big into nine four. Couple sixes here. We pop for the wood. Wait for this eight. Nine. So the next dev's almost certainly a knight. That's annoying. But okay. There's the eight. So where are we going? I mean, the nine ten makes sense. The wheat port's not actually that bad because we can mono wheat. This five is pretty big. I feel like the ore port provides a little bit more here. So let's go for that. I, honestly, I do want to get the next city up, but we need knights. We need army this game. The VPs are good. As long as we can keep this eight blocked. Ten. Six. So I am looking at the wheat mono. Tracking as best as I can. Three is nice. Uh, I do I kind of want to come out here. Well, let's juice this nine up, right? Five is big. He's going to continue to buy devs. So will we. We only have one knight. Oh my God. Double yop. Okay. That's not good. I suppose he's got one VP. Okay. Give me the weight back. Nice. Seven. Five needs to be hit. Do this. Okay. He's going to come in to connect roads. Four is nice. Yep. I suppose we might be able to finish this off. All right. Big nine. All right. Do I mono wood? I might just city. F I might just take Yop here. He needs one road. Let's just take city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we'll look to connect roads here and finish with the city. Eight. He's gonna pop. Interesting. The wood. I'm pretty sure we can just extend road. Did I have win there, guys? Yeah, I think this is fine. With the mono, I think it's fine. Six. Like, we should just be able to mono for the win, no? He can't take road. He pops one card. Five. Does that, does that not do it? Somehow? Some way? Mono the sheep? Or the wheat? Doesn't actually matter. 
All right. We get the win back after that loss. GG. Promoted to silver two. Some good games in that. A few things to learn. I feel like most of the games I've been losing were like that game. Let me know if you guys think anything different could have been done. Maybe A510 just wasn't the way. Maybe I just take 695 or 693. Perhaps. Probably the 693. But then you're like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.